Level by Level Gaming, and this is the second part to the hack of the new 16 gigabyte version of the PAP. Um, now, this was the original SD card, and oh, I got to flip it upside down. This is the original SD card, and this is the backup that was made on this Unirex cheap SD card running in the device. As you can see, it is functioning. Um, as far as performance, I really haven't really tested it extensively, but I will at least say that it works, which is a great thing because that means um, that I have made a successful clone of this original. Now this original is gonna go away. I'm not going to alter or mess with that. That way I can always go back to this here um, put that card back into this one and I'm not bricked or I've not done anything funky other than how this thing came um, what will happen now is I will take this backup or this clone card out of here I'm gonna put it in this micro SD card USB converter there and I'm going to place it in my Linux laptop and begin to read the files and do what I need to do to get my custom menu working on this device. So stay tuned and I'm going to pause the video and move over to my Linux PC and give you guys a quick overview of the files that I'm going to be looking into. All right, here we are with the Linux PC pulled up, and I'm going to insert the card reader into it. All right, it has read it, and the first thing that you want to see is this 94 megabyte volume here, um, 600 and or 262 megabyte volume, 31 megabyte volume, and 15 gigabyte volume. So this first volume here is where your theme configs and most of your very important information. Um, these, I'm uh, trying to remember off the top of my head what exactly is located in these, and then your 15 gigabyte volume here is where all your ROMs and your game folder, all the major storage is done right here. Um, your 94 megabyte volume here. You have your game volume in here is where you're gonna have your emulators. Um, Final Burn Alpha. So, quite sure why well, it has a ROMs folder, I guess that's something that's just built in with it, um, saves, skins, anyways, without going into huge detail on that, here is where your .dge, um, your emulator is located. Back up here, you can see they have the Famicom, GBA, Game Boy Color, Mega Drive, and check this out. This is the same way that it is on the four gigabyte version and that is a folder for the PSX emulator and this bin file that is necessary to make it run so even though it is disabled they did have plans for that being part of this device and they probably ran into the same thing I did um, having to tweak this uh, get it to work not just work but work well I, I ran into the issue of spending just a ton of time and getting obsessed with getting PlayStation 1 or the PSX original to work on this thing and just wasn't happy with it. So I abandoned it in place and that looks exactly like what has happened here. Um, let's go to local. You have an apps folder. Um, D menu. That's another important one. And let's just give you a quick view into the D menu here. You have themes, um, wallpapers. That's kind of a side note. Uh, this is where you would take some of these away 
to save space if you wanted to, um, if you didn't like some of these, and you can add them in. Uh, that's where I added in like the Nintendo and Sega, Atari, those backgrounds that you saw on my custom menu. Um, themes, very important. This is where your eye pins are. Uh, you have your game icons. Um, this is all those little icons that are running across the middle of the screen whenever you first fire this device up. Um, I'm not making you sick with the way I'm using this camera here. You have your labels that go across the bottom. And as you can see, just like with the PlayStation, even though this one ha does not have the video enabled, they still have the icons in the system. Uh, let's see. Your eye pin. And here's where you would have some more icons. And then your sub icons. Those are the ones that go across or down the, the screen whenever you click on a emulator. Um, that is the picture you see. That is the icon. They're white. You can barely see them in this video. And once again, they even still have the PlayStation PNG there. Now, let's see. Sub icons. Your cool theme config. Um, that's dealing with your main screen there. Um, Let's go to iPen English. iPen English is where most of the work that I'm going to have to do comes from. Um, in here, you have a lot of lines that have to be altered. Uh, the names of the icons, where it looks for its icon, um, the executable file. So with CPS, you see here that it is going to this executable file here of the nxu.dge where it looks for it here in the mount memory game cps the type of formats that it will understand dot zip dot fba and so on and so forth down the line gba super famicom and this is where i'm going to have to take away lines add lines alter lines um like I said, this is the file that most of the magic happens. So, uh, let's see here. Like I said, guys, I'm not going into super detail. I have had requests on doing a um, detailed tutorial on how to do these things step by step. And that is definitely something I'm going to consider with this series here um, or even making another series on altering the PAP making your own custom menu that kind of thing uh, as far as altering let's back up a little bit keep in mind that I'm not making something new I am taking the original and altering it to fit my needs and to make me happy and hopefully make you happy in the same process um, Let's just highlight over one more here. We're climbing up on 10 minutes. Um, let's see. Let's look in the user. Nope. That's not anything. All right. Let's get out of this partition. And we'll end with highlighting where you would have to go to get your ROMs, add ROMs, delete ROMs, that kind of thing. Here's where your music, pictures, videos... Uh, even though this is disabled, um, I think this thing, yeah, it comes with these images that they've put on here that are the same as the four gigabyte, um, uh, music, let's see what they got, yeah, I don't, yeah, I think that's the same as the four gigabyte, it's been so long, I don't re remember, um, game, CPS, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Mega Drive, Neo Geo, Super Famicom and Sega Master System. So let's say you wanted to grab some of your Super Famicom games, Super Nintendo games off of here. You don't want them on here anymore. Uh, you don't like them or you don't have a copy of it or you just want to back it up. This is where you would add games 
remove games and alter your ROMs just in general. So that is a quick overview of the file system that is on this original 16 gigabyte version of the memory card. I'm going to go into these in detail, um, pick through them, start <laughs> fiddling with things, and I'm going to see if I can't get my custom menu to work on this device. So that's Level by Level Gaming. Once again, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for more of the PAP and the process of hacking it.